honor to be sitting here with the linebacker for the Panthers, Thomas Davis. And Thomas Davis is very well known, especially on the field, for his leadership and the things he's accomplished on the field. But he's done a lot and is doing a lot off the field as well. And that's just as impressive as the things he's done on the field. So uh, real brief, I wanted Thomas to talk about some of the things he's doing, his foundation, and some of the awards that he has been recognized for recently. Well, this year we were nominated at the foundation. I always refer to it as the foundation because it's not just me that's doing the work. And I say TDDDF was nominated for the Carolina Panthers Man of the Year Award. And ultimately we ended up being a finalist for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. So we got to travel to New York and be there for the awards presentation. And, you know, it was definitely a great event. It was great times. Um, I got to meet two of the other finalists, and Charles Tillman and Jay Feely, who are great guys. Um, definitely made friends with them, and you know, to see the work that they're doing, it was it was truly an honor. Um, we didn't end up winning the award, and I don't think that the selection committee made a bad choice in picking Charles Tillman because the stuff that he's been able to do with his foundation and the things that he's been able to do him and his wife has definitely been amazing and you know hats off to those guys but we were able to win the call of courage award this year um it's something that they do in buffalo um year in and year out and you know it was definitely an honor for me and my wife to travel up to buffalo and to be able to say a few words on behalf of you know defending dreams foundation and the things that we've been able to do in the community and you know it's an accomplishment that recognizes some of the work that I've also done on the field, you know, and just given my injury history, a lot of people didn't think that the last two years that I've had would even be possible, but I definitely say that it has been a blessing. That's awesome. A lot of things stand out with just your drive to be great, despite the, like you said, your knee injury and to make a difference on and off the field. One thing that we talk about a lot in Excel to Fitness, making boys and young young men realize the power of influence in their life and getting around the right people. And when I say the word influence, what does that mean to you? When I hear the word influence, I, w- I always try to look at it and use it in a, in a positive manner because you have two different kinds of influences. You have positive and negative influences. And for me, I always try to take the positive out of situations. And I've had a lot of positive influences in my life, and I had some negative influences that I, you know, had to overcome and fight against. But all in all, the guy that I I will point to that has definitely had a positive influence in my life and had the biggest impact, I would definitely point to my coach from college, Mark Rick. When you talk about that point, it almost seems like he was the guy that just helped you take it to the next level. And looking back, what was that point where it hit you that you had a dream to chase and and what caused you to realize that? Was it before you got to Georgia with Coach Mark Rick or was it was it him? You know, it it, w- it was really a combination of, of both of those. You know, before I got to Georgia and being that I wasn't really highly recruited coming out of school, I didn't have that many scholarship offers. Not a whole lot of teams wanted yeah. me. But to be given a scholarship – to play at the University of Georgia from Coach Mark Rick and then going there and really getting to know him and seeing what kind of father he was, what kind of coach he was, and, you know, how strong his beliefs were. And for a guy to take a chance and believe in me, you know, that gave me all the confidence in the world. Um, I knew that I had a lot of work to do when I went into Georgia. Like I said, I wasn't highly recruited. Um, But I had to show everyone there that I belonged. And I had to prove to myself that, you know, if I if I believed in myself enough and I and I wanted to achieve it, then I could make it happen. And you know, it it was gonna take a lot of hard work, but I was willing to do it. Yeah, that's cool. So if you had a brief moment to tell someone something that would help them reach their highest potential, something that would make it click for them, what what might that be? I would definitely tell them to always believe in themselves. Always set goals, always have aspirations and dreams and believe in yourself that you can achieve those. You're going to have people along the way that are going to tell you that you can't do this, you can't do that. 
or even that you shouldn't do certain things. But if you believe in yourself and it's something that you want to accomplish and it's a, it's a positive in your life and you believe wholehearted that you can make it happen, then go out and make it happen. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything. I had a lot of naysayers and a lot of people tell me that I shouldn't do certain things, but I'm able to sit here right now before you as an NFL player, as a father, as a leader in this community because I believed in me and because I had another man that strongly believed that I had what it took just knowing that he believed in me that gave me all the confidence that I needed. Yeah. To wrap it up, I couldn't think of a, a better stronger male role model than you so i'm just honored to sit here and i'm i'm really excited to see where you're going to take us in your chain and where coach mark rick will take us to his person and, and see where that 10th person will lead to because it's going to be it's going to be really cool because i think eventually we're going to be able to see what that 10th person did for the ninth person did for the eighth person and we're going to see that chain that allowed you to be who you are so i mean it could have started way before Coach Mark Rick because somebody made planted a seed to him. Absolutely. And that's what's going to be cool to watch. Hey, it's, it's definitely an honor to be selected as the first guy to start this chain. And you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing where it goes. I mean, the power of 10 is you know, something that I'm very partial to. I was number 10 in high school and college. So those are my, that's my favorite number. So <laughs> definitely looking forward to seeing where this goes. That's awesome. Well, thank you, Mr. Davis. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Wow, what an exciting time sitting down with Thomas Davis and hearing about the things that inspired him growing up. I hope you continue on this journey with us as we move to our number two person, the head football coach of the University of Georgia, Coach Mark Rick. One of the most exciting things about this journey is that we have no idea who's going to be the next person, and we're really excited to see who the person Coach Mark Rick refers us to that's been and is his biggest influence in his life. It's going to be fun, and I'm just as excited as anyone to see where this thing leads and to really show how important it is to get around the right people in order to reach your maximum potential and chase your dreams. (laughs) 